Hello. You are beginning a new unit on patterns of Earth and sky. My name is Jeff Holt, and I run the planetarium in Madison, Wisconsin. Now, the planetarium simulates the sky up on the ceiling. Now, in this unit, you'll have your own simulation system that you'll use to explore this subject. But I first wanted to remind you that the simulation that you will be engaging in, whether it's a computer simulation or other models that you will create, you're simulating what happens to the real Earth and the real sky. Look down below your feet. That's our planet. I'm standing on a planet. Now, I know you know that, but I think we often forget that or take it for granted. Now, throughout human history, people have explored what they saw in the sky and paid attention. They observed. And they noticed patterns in the changes that happen in like where the sun rises, where the sun sets, the path that the sun appears to make across the sky throughout the day. They used the sky as their clock, their calendar, and their compass. Now we know this thanks to archaeoastronomers. Archaeoastronomers use artifacts, things that they discover from human history, and they use those to help us figure out how cultures long ago, from all around the world, including here in the United States, use the sky. Now, in this unit, you guys will be the archaeoastronomers. You guys will be using those simulations that I talked about, those models, to control the date and the time that you're observing, just like ancient sky watchers would have done. It just would have taken them longer because they can't control the date and the time. So watch for patterns in the changes that you see, but remember that what you're simulating is what really happens on our planet here. Our planet here, right? And what really happens in the real sky. So remember to pay attention to what happens in the real sky as you're going throughout this unit. Good luck. Have fun.